All right, hopefully it's working now. Had some uh, minor issues with getting any upload speed at all, but we seem to be we seem to be going all right here. All right, we're just in the middle of creating a character. Anyway, this is Dark Souls, obviously, and the difference with this Dark Souls. By the way, I'm really liking the way this guy's looking. He looks kind of like if I change the hair, he looks a little bit like. Um, Uh, is it mean to say that he looks a little bit like Bakad Abdi, the actor? Maybe a little mean. I like this guy a lot. Especially, like, this hair. Alright, I think we're good. Um, <laughs> this is me. This is my true self. Um, the difference with this Dark Souls is we're running some graphics mods. To make it look better, hopefully. Dark Souls is one of those games that doesn't look very good to start with. But what we've got is we've got a shader mod. The age of ancients, and some the textures. Was unformed, by fog. I wonder if this will look any different. Or if this is like a pre-rendered cutscene. land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity. Such a cool cutscene. Heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of Sam's the playing Warzone. within the flame. <laughs> Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolin and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords. They challenge the dragon. Hello, pygmy. Yes, pygmy. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone scales. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath. Scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. It's so intense. Thus began the age of fire. But soon. Flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Name a cutscene more iconic. Even now, Pro tip, you can't. Embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen... Such good music. Carriers of the accursed dark side. That guy needs some. <laughs> he needs some moisturizer. You're right. All 
right, you may see the difference immediately as soon as we load in. Is there much of a difference? It looks like the lighting's a little better. Textures yes, are a little sharper. Indeed. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. It does look better, doesn't it? And in this land... The lighting looks good, yeah. Dead are corralled and led to the north. Textures look nice and clear. Very crisp. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. It's one of those games that just doesn't look very good, generally. What's that? Oh, this dude. Good job. So Sam's uh, got nine people left in a match of Warzone. He's doing very well. Look at that. That looks great. Compared to how it normally looks. I mean, like, arguably, it doesn't look very good, but... Uh, yeah, my man! <laughs> oh, he looks good. So there's some pretty intense bloom and HDR happening here. The mod's not per- <laughs> That's my guy! What do you mean, what the fuck is that? That's my man. Uh, network connection has been lost, returning to title menu. Well, uh, that's not good. Can I, like, continue? Can I load this man in? Fiend, level 4. Zero minutes and zero seconds playtime. That's very strange. Some planes flying overhead, I guess. Alright. We're in. And the textures do look better. And we got handsome fella Fiend right here. Look at him. Alright. Dungeon cell key. Let's let's get started. So yes, the difference is, look at these textures, look at this, it does look better. You can't deny it, it looks better. I like you, thank you for the emojis. Is this a new game? No, uh, well, it's a new game from the start, yes, if that's what you mean. It's not a, uh, new game, it came out in 2011, but, uh, this is, this is me starting from the beginning. So, yes, you can notice the graphical improvements, and with the, uh, scroll lock button, I can actually turn them off and back on and you can really see the difference like look at that very flat kind of monotonous lighting and then that which is much more dramatic quite a big difference it's really cool that you can just turn it on and off like that um geez this game is dark Is it too dark, I wonder? How does it look on stream? Is it like, uh... Is it too dark? Should I turn up the brightness a little bit? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna turn up the brightness just a little bit. Oh, the brightness is on max. Never mind. This is a very, uh, dark game. It's fine. Okay, good. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I just figured I might play some Dark Souls for a little while. See, uh, see how we go. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's like... I don't know. New graphics mods. There's so many different Dark Souls playthroughs out there. Um, I haven't ever seen one with, uh, improved graphics and stuff and a different sort of look to it. Oh. So that's the first enemy there. Whoa. We're good, we're good. It does look different, it's crazy. So the only thing I can turn on and off is the shaders. So the lighting mod, basically. I can't change the textures. So the textures do stay very sharp. You like the shine. It's been a while, I'm, I'm, I'm not very good. At this game. I gotta, like, warm up. Big time. Alright. I feel like I'm moving really slow as well. Alright. Is 
It's dark, but you can see everything. Yeah. Alrighty. It's coming back. It's been a while. I've been playing um, Dark Souls 3 a while ago, which we have now kind of stopped playing because... I don't know. It was getting to that point where it's like you need to really uh, spend a long time sort of grinding against bosses and enemies and stuff. Yes, I will hear you out. I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family, Thou who art undead art chosen, and thine exodus from the undead asylum. Make it pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords, when thou ringeth the bell of awakening. The fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing, an Estus flask. Thank you. Oh, and Vic. Thank you. Now I must bid farewell. I'm Goodbye. You after death. And thank you. Well, I uh, really, I don't know what it is with this game, but they have a way of uh, talking as slow as possible. So yes, I will be probably skipping a lot of dialogue because uh, look, nobody wants to. Nobody can be bothered. Ain't nobody got time for that. We got, we got a medium roll here. If I was um, wearing less armor, I'd probably have a faster roll. But I think I'm gonna be playing like a, a typical kind of sword and shield character this round. And we'll see how far we go with this. This might not go. Uh, this might not go very far. This might be the only stream we do uh, um, yeah I'm just sort of like in the mood for some Dark Souls so we'll see how much we play I don't feel like uh, challenging myself particularly no it's not a speed run um, no, I don't really feel like challenging myself massively. Completed in 25 minutes. How long have we been going for? We've been going for 13 minutes. Cool, we got 12 minutes to finish the game. I don't think a person can finish this game that slow, uh, that fast. So we'll do the plunge on this guy. He's no problem. He's got a big booty. This is, um, more intimidating than, like, I don't know, than it needs to be. It's not, it's not that in intense. And we got him. No problem. I have beaten Dark Souls before, so you could say I'm a, uh, God Gamer. And you will. That is what you will call me from now on. God Gamer. But, uh, I only beat it once. I got pretty far the second time playing. I think I got... Oh, uh, not even that far. I got to, like, Anor Londo. Um, I think there's an item around here. Item ahead. Ah. Um... But yeah, as is the way with these games, I think once you've already beaten them, you kind of just get to a point where it's like, ah, oh, this is a huge challenge, and uh, is it worth it? Is it worth it to continue if you've already beaten it? The drive to continue is sort of just like wondering what happens at the Only end. In the ancient legends, it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. So cool. So cool. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. 
Lordran. It's the land of ancient lords. What should we call it? How about Lordran? Done. Give this man a promotion. It seems to just... I mean, like, that arguably looks better. You give this extremely bright light in here. I don't know. Like, that looks pretty good. Then you do that. Kind of, like, raises the contrast and... Makes things a bit more intense. Yes, thank you. It's, um... I guess it's, like, HDR. So... If I'm looking up at the sky, it's bright at first, and then it dims down. It dims down. Now, see, when I turn it off, you can actually see the sky. And I can fiddle with the settings as well. I can turn it back on, and let's go like that. We can open up the little thingy here. Turn that off if we want it off. HDR, turn that off if we want it. High dynamic range. I think we want HDR. I can turn off Bloom. Bloom is a bit intense. Maybe that looks better. You can kind of like see a bit more detail in the sky. Still not the same. So this is Dark Souls. The grass looks good. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look bad. We're gonna level up. We're gonna. We're honestly, we're gonna go into life and then a bit of strength, I reckon. Alright, and we'll get started. Oh. There are a whole lot of items that we can sort of pick up around here, but as we said. Oh. Get used to that sound. <laughs> oh, I fell? Ah, thanks for letting me know. It's okay. That is really funny. So... It's gonna take me some time to like warm up. Um, this is a speed run, as we said, which means we don't have time to go and pick up every item. Don't fall off again. No problem. There's one down here. Walk off, just edge off. There we go. Alright, give me this. We'll, uh... We'll see. Like, at the moment, these shaders aren't really doing it for me, to be honest. Like, they just look different. They don't... They don't look better. Um... Oh, so I'm thinking, like... I don't know, at some point we may end up turning them off. It's just kind of weird, right? Jeez. Oh, like, look at that. That's kind of like... It feels like a little more blurry. But... Alright, let's see what we can do. SMAO, we'll keep uh, anti-aliasing. Ambient occlusion, I like that. Levels, whatever levels is. Ambient light. Maybe we'll... Ambient light. Let's keep it on. Clarity. Clarity makes everything really sharp. HDI. HDR. Lift gamma gain. Maybe we want to turn that off, because it looks kind of like kind of bad with it on. Like, that's a little better. That looks a bit better. 
And you can see more of the sky now up there. You can see the clouds. Maybe this is how we should be going. Oh boy. How's the audio, by the way? Everything good? Am I too loud? Is the game too loud? Yeah, this is looking good. Very sharp. I hear footsteps. So this is, um, Undead Burg. It's very, uh, well, it's reminiscent of, um, the Undead Settlement in Dark Souls 3. More like the, uh, Undead Settlement is reminiscent of, of Undead Burg, I guess. But, uh, I think that's often the case in, in Dark Souls 3, is there's a lot of recreation of, um, hello. No, no. There's a sort of a recreation of a lot of Dark Souls areas in Dark Souls 3. I'm amazed that we <laughs> didn't get hit there. Some rubbish, very worthwhile. I never figured out how to slide on ladders in Dark Souls 1. It's not the same as the other games. Well, maybe it is and I'm doing it wrong. I don't really get it. It has been a while. The level design in Dark Souls 1 is just... It's so great. It's like... I don't know. Everything sort of loops in on itself. And... Whereas with Dark Souls 2, they really went overboard with just placing, like, as many enemies as possible in the map. Dark Souls 1 is kind of like... I don't know, you gotta, like, find your way through this maze. Um... And it doesn't go overboard with the enemies. Most of the time. And when it does, it's like, that's the specific challenge... Of, um, I tried to jump. That's how you jump. Um, that will become the specific challenge. I can't make this jump. Of that area. When they have a whole, uh, horde of enemies. The dragon looked very cool. The lighting and the textures looked great. Good dodge. As is typical with Dark Souls arrows, for whatever reason, they decided that arrows should hone in on you. I'm gonna drink. Let's see if we can get behind this guy. Dodged. He dodged me. Come on. There we go. Alright, when we go down here, there's a guy hiding right here. There we go. 
Parrying's great when you can, uh, when you can time it. And here is the undead well, merchant. Well, now. <laughs> and he's got a lot of stuff. Um, purchase item. What else have you got? He's got the residence key. Not super useful. He's got a scimitar as well. And I was thinking of using a certain sword, which we need to level up a curved sword to get. So you know what? We're going to use the scimitar. Does the same amount of damage as a long sword, but it's a curved sword. It might be a tiny bit faster, I can't tell. And what that does for us is we'll be able to uh, upgrade it all the way. And uh, eventually we'll have a, a really good sword that we can get from it. Couple people resting at this bonfire already. All right. That's a bit. <laughs> I was a bit. Uh, I don't know, less than fair on that guy, I think, the timing of that one. That parry. Get the backstab on this guy. Combat is so engaging in these games. Even in Dark Souls 1, it just feels so good. Can I open this yet? I think I can. No, I cannot. Parrying in this game is so much easier than it is in any of the other Souls games. I don't know why. Firebombs. Maybe useful, maybe not. It's uh, unlikely we'll find a place where we really needed them. What is through here? Oh, this is a uh, shortcut. Oh, it's not a shortcut because I can't get through there, but we will be going down there later. A lot of this area looks. Uh, much the same. Oh, I'm trying to parry. Really don't need to parry, I guess. It's good practice, though. We're going to be through this area in no time. Oh no! I fell. That's okay. We'll go back up there. I feel like... I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I'm making it look easy right now. Because I'm a... Uh, relatively well-practiced Dark Souls player. It's not an easy game. And there's people out there who are like, man... Dark Souls isn't actually hard. Like, no, it is It is a difficult game. It just takes a lot of um, practice. He's a pro. <laughs> what do we got in here? 
I opened it with the master key, but it's like, oh, you get this chest. He's a pro. I hate it. And patience. Yeah, patience. A lot of patience. Um, which is like not... I don't know. It's not a bad thing. But, uh... I don't know. In fact, yeah, it's not a bad thing at all. But, uh, you can see how it would be intimidating to people, to new people, to uh, get into it. What the heck was that? Dude, that was so cool. I've never seen that before. My guy just did like a slash and back, back step. Yo, that is uh, the replacement for the kick animation. There must be a thing with this sword. That's that's fantastic. But yeah, uh, patience, not your strong point, is it? Should I try and take this guy? I'll probably die. Ah, let's give it a try. You can creep up on him. Get the backstab. Oh, we do so little damage. Oh boy, I tried to roll. Drink. Oh boy. I, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Get the backstab again. And now we got somebody shooting at us as well. Perfect. Let's, let's, let's go back down. So that we're not getting shot at. Ah, uh, don't forget you've got a shield. Use your shield. Get the backstab. This is how we're gonna do it. This is how we have to do it. I could try and get a parry. I don't really trust myself to parry a black knight. <sighs> the sound of oh god. Drink. Oh, that's a big hit. Well, there you go. I, I mean, that's what we get, right? <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. We'll get to the next bonfire and then I reckon we'll call it there. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna do it. Not a good idea. But I'm not a smart man. Let's just run. We'll see how far we can get. So far, so good. A lot of enemies on our tail. Oh, you get out of the way. That's alright, you have to get hit there. Alright, we're still good. This is insane. It's actually going pretty well. Get up here. Go through there. Go through. Alrighty. We made it through. I actually forgot what was up here. There they are. They can't come through. Sorry guys. So you climb the ladder, you get the archers. You want to kill these guys. Alright, no problem. Check this out of here. You'll like this. <laughs> oh, what a cool way to introduce a boss. So intimidating, but like, not that bad. Alright. 
We might be able to climb this ladder, actually. Ooh, maybe. Oh, just. Alright. Now what we can do here is get the plunging attack on this guy. Which is very useful. You can only kind of get away with it once. Alright, get over here. Give us the fair fight. Oh man, that's annoying. The, uh... Ooh. The rocks that hit you. Alright, we're fine. Music is just fantastic. I don't really like our lack of damage here. Alright, we're gonna drink. We're doing pretty well. As long as we just uh, stay focused, keep our patience, time things right, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be down to half HP. Get up. That's a good roll. Ooh. I don't know. We attack really fast. We could afford to do more than one strike. We just gotta manage our uh, stamina right. got him staggered there. Oh, the back step. I hate how his foot has a hitbox. It's possible to get him to actually jump off the side as well. I do not know how to do that. How to reliably get that to happen. I think I've had it happen before. Get up. Oh, no. We have been bested. All right. Holy moly. A good first attempt. But on that note, we're going to call it there. We've been going for like 40 minutes or so, 45 minutes. Good run. Good try. Dark Souls with graphics mods. Strange. Not necessarily better, I think. You can see the difference there. Like, what is that? How weird. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.